everyone, Astrophysicist here with some very cool news about a brand new, never before seen Tatooine type planet. This planet's name is 2M1510ABB. Terrible, I know. It's 120 light years away in the constellation of Libra. And so this is one planet orbiting two stars, kind of like Tatooine does in Star Wars. But that's not what makes this system unique. It's actually two stars that are not really stars, and also the planet orbits at a 90 degree angle with respect to the stars. The central stars in this system are actually weird little guys called brown dwarfs. They're too massive to be a planet, they're not massive enough to be a star. If you'd ever like to see a fist fight at an astronomy conference, just raise your hand and ask how massive does something have to be before it's a star? Now, we have discovered Tatooine worlds before. We know about 16 of them in the galaxy so far. And some people spend their entire career studying these systems, trying to figure out how they're orbitally stable and whether life could arise on them. But they've never seen a system quite like this one. As you can see here, these central brown dwarves are orbiting each other every 21 days in a nice, flat, well-behaved orbit. The planet is orbiting both stars at a 90 degree angle to that flat plane. That's crazy. How is something like that stable? Did it form that way? Did it become that way? We don't know yet. Is this planet habitable? Like Tatooine seems to just barely be. No. It is a Jupiter-sized planet, so it has no solid surface. It's a gas giant. It also orbits around where Mars would be in our solar system. But the suns at the center are so small and so dim that that is way outside the habitable zone for this system. There's no chance of liquid water anywhere there. That being said, life uh, finds a way. So it's possible that maybe a moon in this system could be habitable if it had an atmosphere. Maybe it has methane-based life. And that methane-based life would be looking up at the sky and that sky is going to be spinning like a tilt-a-whirl. Anyways, very cool discovery. Really another excellent addition to the galactic zoo of weird and bizarre solar systems. Feel free to drop any questions in the comments, and I'll see you next time.